the side of roofing that that is never shown. Uh, this is a a pesky roof leak that we're trying to figure out today. This is a roof that we installed last year. I got my boy Taylor on the inside right there. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. That's Taylor. He's new. He's never been on a roof before. And we're trying to sell them on the roofing industry. But to do that properly, we got to show them the dark side. So this is a uh, part of running a roofing business that uh, is the legacy cost that sometimes you put on a roof that develops a leak. And I've been out to this one several times. This is the area right here. This has all been reflashed. And we've got an upper roof, right? Also maybe the culprit. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking a, a hose. Check that out. Check that out. Hey, hey. The hose right there. I got Taylor in there. All right, here we go. Water test. All right, you let me know if you can you hear me? Okay. I'm just gonna spray this this wall right here. I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm thinking that it's actually the the brick. So I'm gonna start to rule out the roof. I'm just going to spray this counter flashing and this side wall flashing. We got a little apron detail right there. I think that's all sealed up pretty good, but. I'm just gonna spray, and then if there's any signs of moisture, then Taylor on the inside of the building is gonna let me know. We've adopted a, a sign language protocol that only we understand, and, and that'll work. I'm gonna cut it off so I have two hands. Two hands is better than one. My daddy taught me that. All right, so I've been spraying this sidewall detail for about five minutes. We got Taylor on the inside. There's still no water. We're gonna figure this out today. I've been been here four times now, and this is the first time that I've done a water test. But it stops today. Next, we're gonna spray the brick right there. About to hit the brick. I'm gonna spray this for about five minutes. We'll see if anything shows itself. I've been hitting. The bricks right here for about five minutes. Right right where the two walls come together, there's a little mortar joint right there, and we've got some holes in the mortar. We got Taylor on the inside. Where are you at, Taylor? Where are you at? All right, he's, he's inspecting, and still no no water. So this is a, a subroof to another smaller panel. I'm about to put the ladder on the subroof I'm gonna hit the other panel the same way. So look at that. We've got porous brick, but still no leak. We're getting close though. All right, I'm gonna put this ladder on this roof. I'll keep you guys updated. We're, we're getting close. I got a good feeling. A really good. All right, we got the hose running. And I've got my, my ladder set up to get on this roof. This is kind of dangerous. Uh, but I got Taylor on the inside. If something happens, I've, I've already given him instructions how to execute my will and the people in my life that, that, I, that, I, never, that I never told them how much they meant to me. Well, he, he has detailed instructions on, on what to do. Um, here we go. Oh, we got a shaky ladder here. You can do it. You can do it. My whole life has, has led me to this moment. Legs shaking, heart beating. Um, I can do it. We're, we're actually at a church right now. It's probably a good place to fall off a roof. Uh, there we go. We actually lost money on this job, which makes callbacks extremely disheartening um we're losing more money right now uh check check that out yeah. spider all right so this is um the upper roof it's still a sub roof to the main roof there but I'm, I'm pretty sure the leak is not coming from the main roof it's corresponding to that corner right there 
So what I'm gonna do here, same procedure. I'm gonna spray the, the flashing detail to eliminate that. And then we're gonna hit the brick. This brick is also pretty porous. And I've already plugged some larger holes in the mortar on a previous visit. And I thought maybe that, that I got it. Technically anything that's going on with the bricks is, is, not, is not the roofer's problem, but we really like this customer, this entity. They, they've been really good to us. This was a project that took about two weeks, three weeks. Um, there's a daycare underneath here and just really good people. Even if they were bad people, we would still respond to a callback. But at, at this point, I'm, I'm really thinking it's not the roof. Um, anyway, we will keep you updated. I'm getting kind of dizzy. Check that out. All the way down, bro. The conclusion was not what I wanted. It does look like this chronic persistent roof leak was built into the roof the day it was installed by us. Um, so we're up on this, this upper roof panel. We already did the lower roof panel and we've isolated the, the roof leak through the water test. Um, it's definitely coming in through this flashing detail. The counter flashing looks okay, but it appears to be the sidewall flashing, which goes underneath the counter flashing. And in this case, our sidewall flashing is about four inches wide which is normally okay. And it was just an oversight on our part, probably mostly me. Um, I was managing this job and I just did not catch this. But if you can see down down in there, we've got a, a four, four inch, I don't know if I said foot earlier, but a four inch kick out or flange on our sidewall flashing, it's clipped in. But the water appears to be jumping over that somehow. And I think, that it's because this entire upper roof, or a large portion of it, about half of that upper roof, which is about 40 squares, drains through this downspout on to this subroof. And so it's getting a large volume of water on this subroof through this downspout, which connects to that roof. And I think that the four inch wall flashing is just overwhelmed and the water, when there's enough volume of water, especially with a wind driven rain, the water is just jumping over that four inch wall flashing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to remove a row of shingles going all the way up this, this side wall right here. We're gonna remove the side wall flashing we're gonna add new ice and water leak barrier that goes five inches up the wall and then 31 inches or so onto the roof line. And we're gonna install a custom, custom piece of sidewall flashing that is six inches. We might go eight inches just to make sure that, um, it'll probably need to be six inches to make sure our shingles can fasten correctly. But I think that that's the culprit here. So. We lost money on this job and we continue to lose money, but I'm with my faithful assistant, Taylor down there. He has red hair, he has curly red hair and he he won't admit this, but I, I, I think he might be insecure about it. So if you ever run into him, don't stare at his hair. He leaves it, he leaves it flowing. He's got good spirits down there. Um, that's it, just wanted to show the, the ugly side of roofing. This is Billy G. Billy stands for William, G stands for Gangster, signing out.